Brothers and sisters, comrades and friends, I'm Cuba Libre. Welcome to Let's Play Mark of the Ninja. Mark of the Ninja is a 2D stealth action game. It's quite slick, quite well produced. I think it really gives you the feeling of being a ninja. And I'm going to be explaining the relevant mechanics as we go. Here's the first level. Now this opening cinematic is quite good actually in that it shows you exactly what you will be doing in the game. It's like the actual mechanics visualized in a flash cartoon. The cutscenes aren't awesome, but they're alright. Anyways, keep watching. Hey. You. All right. Don't you hear the bell? So this is our first little tutorial, mandatory I'm tutorial here to help level. You. Rule number one: Don't get me killed. Uh, you see those big blue circles that I'm making? That's actually the visualization of sound radii. So that's this. We got the one that ran away, sir. They should all be killed or captured now. You can see as you go in the light, you turn color. Out of the light, you're in shadow. Guards will not see you in the dark. Where's your sword? Period. Stick to the darkness until you find one. Uh, unless you're like right Watch in out. their little vision cone. This way. You can see that vision cone is uh, perfectly visualized as well. So it's basically every element of a stealth game, sound, sight, is visualized on screen at all times. I okay. really like this. Keep moving. It's a it's a great solution to two D stealth game. Find a place to hide. Well, you don't have a three D solution. Now let's spend a little time looking at this pause menu. On the right, you see three groups of three seals. That's what they called. At the end of the level, you will be evaluated on these seals, and getting them is your currency for buying the upgrades, which we'll talk about then. The top three are points. So there's three point barriers. If you get the max, the top number of points, you get all three of the seals. Um, there's also point bonuses at the end of the level. I'll show you those when we get there. The bottom three says Voice of the Hisomo. Those are scrolls. They're little story snippets, sort of, about the game. But basically, it's the exploration medals. So there's three scrolls hidden around every level. You just got to find them. Um, often, one will be associated with a challenge room which I don't think there is one in this first level, but we'll get there. And the middle three are just like random achievements. Some of them, most of them are global, but many of them, like in the level, you can do them any point in the level, but many of them are specific to a certain region or segment of the level. And it won't tell you that ahead of time. So uh, you can see the ones that we've got right now. I uh, will be getting all of the seals in each of these playthroughs. Um, and that's about it for that. So let's keep going. You can see as these guards walk by, I get a little undetected bonus. It's not as big as a bonus you get for killing them, but I can't kill anybody right now because I don't have my sword yet. Hold see on. Run, and they'll be able to hear it. Right. You see it those as those we birds flew off. We could totally sell them to you see that the floor they're standing on blocks the light authentic. from the from the lamp. It also blocks their vision. Get under that ledge. From there, you can pull yourself up. Grappling hook, very important piece of equipment. You see that little blue grapple symbol. Uh, the game is very well designed to the extent that it almost always knows where you want to grapple. So you can just tap the button. And here's our first scroll. You can almost just tap the button and it'll almost always grapple you to the place you want to go. of the Hisamu clan. As written by its masters. Five hundred men lie, vanquished before Tetsuji takes off his blindfold. Now, if you like here, just move it, move it. Uh, if there's multiple grapple points around, you were out cold. Looks like they don't know you're alive. Then 
you can just hold the stick in the direction you want to go, and it'll highlight the right one. Now you're ready to kill. The beginning of the kill is like embracing a lover. The end, of course, is not. Now, I want to kill those guys for points, but I can't, really, because they are staring at each other in light. There's really no way to do that without items, and I don't have any items yet. So I just leave them. Here's my first stealth kill. Good work. But remember, you have to be quick to catch them. As you can see, now you can move the bodies around. You can hide them for extra bonus points, so I'll be doing that a lot later. Here's another kind of stealth kill. You grab a guy off a ledge. And of course you can throw the bodies. You can actually throw them down through the vent, and I can go hide them in this door and get the hidden body bonus. And as you can see, only one thing can hide behind the door at a time. So either one body or me. Farming for points can be slightly tedious, but it's usually good. Those yellow things denote a sort of objective waypoint, and they usually come with a very small in-game cutscene, like the one you just saw. Well, now we get our darts the and our focus mode. Has honed your senses. Focus your thoughts, and you can freeze time in your mind. So this will be very useful. It allows you to, th to use your items, which in the beginning is just your darts, but to use your items in a simultaneous fashion. I'm trying to go back so I can kill guys. Now that I have the darts to knock out that light, but I can't. If you need more cover, you could always destroy the lights. But shattering them will make a loud noise, so be ready for them to react. Alright, so you, what you saw there was... One way in which this game is fluid. I accidentally punch the dude, which is what you do when you don't stealth kill them. You, you'll never use your sword in actual combat. You only use it to stealth kill people. It's an honor, ninja, whatever thing. Um, yet I still stealth... I got around to the other side. Oh, there's these little artifacts. They just give you bonus points. They're hidden around. So they're good to find if you want to get those point medals. Um, at any rate, I got around to the other side of the guy and did a stealth kill fast enough that it still counted. Now this is an interesting kind of stealth kill. You'll see I got 600 points for it, plus the body hidden bonus. That particular stealth kill is the only way to hide bodies in vents. If you kill a guy farther into a room and drag him over to a vent, it won't let you stash him in there. And you get object kill bonuses. So I just dropped the chandelier on those guys' heads, got 600 points apiece. Again, better than, the, off a branch better than the 400 point stealth kill. But the tree must bear the wound. Now, one thing I had intended to do, I am post-commentating, as you can probably tell. Now you see when I busted the light, it made a sound radius, so now the guard will be suspicious and shine his flashlight around. I moved over to the left, because it's just out of the range of his flashlight. Ooh, can't see me. But if I had been on that one on the right, right above him, he would have saw me. Hey! I saw you. It's him! And I just showed that common thing in this game. Uh, checkpoints are very frequent, and getting an alarm is very bad. So, now, that guy saw the dead body. Guards seeing dead bodies is interesting. If they can get to them, on this, the, you know, guards can only walk on the plane they're on. Or they can walk upstairs and stuff, but they can't jump. So, <clears throat> if they see a dead body on the plane they're on, they'll walk up to it, they will bend over it, and then they'll call it in. When they call it in, that's an alarm. And alarms are bad. For score reasons. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but if they just see a dead body on another level they can't get to, they won't call in an alarm. They'll still get suspicious, get the question mark over their head. But they won't, uh, they won't call in an alarm. So you can safely leave dead bodies around for guards on different levels to find. Weird, but there you go. We need to make him look the other way. Now that light will not shatter. It's got like a little grate on it. But you can use the gong and distract him. At any rate, what I intend to do with these post commentaries is, is play the level first, get a good idea. Remember. See that door? Don't open it yet. Just lean against it and try to sense what's on the other side. So, yes, if you lean against the door, you can see what's inside. Um, 
I will be doing that for future levels. But this level, I just sort of this is just my first run we through. We do not fear death. Our lives have been cruel. The clan must always endure. What a terrible poetry reading. Our lives have been cruel. The clan must always endure. It's just, anyways, people don't know how to read poetry. <laughs> Clever haikus, I suppose. <clears throat> uh, so here's a slight in. Uh, situation. Hello. Because I knocked out that light, that guard on the left now can't see me kill that guy. Because he's not alert, he's not shining his flashlight in front of him, he's just standing. So, two kills. So you'll see me do some useless exploration here. Uh, hopefully in future videos, I will just go direct to all the places I need to go. It'd be a little more ninja-like. <laughs> I scouted up ahead. I have They're beaten taking this game. Ninjas, hostages, and Master Azai of course. Trouble. But, we have to uh, you know, this is the first level and it was a while ago, so I don't quite remember everything the first time through. And here's your map. It can be useful. This was me. Thank God I looked through the door, because I just barely reacted to that guy. He would absolutely would have saw me and called an alarm if he busted through. And here is the rescue of these four ninjas is one of the bonus objectives for the seals. And anyways, they give you points, so why wouldn't you? Now as you saw going through that way, enabled me to come up behind this guy. It would have been frankly impossible to attack him from the front. That light is way too, way too much coverage on that light without some of the fancier items from later on. This is me jumping between uh, hiding spaces, which you can do. And I leave that corpse in the light on purpose, so that guy sees it, runs by me to check it out, take him out. I can't actually assassinate him directly from the hiding space. I have to get out of the hiding space and then kill him. That's one of the upgrades that you get later on. So now, this is me trying to figure out what to do. The actual, all the ninjas and bonus stuff is back behind me. That vent in the ceiling goes to the master guy that we was actually the objective of this level. So I want to complete everything here before I move on. But why not take the opportunity to kill these dudes since I'm up here already? And this guy's facing forward in the light. Not much to do unless you distract him somehow. So that's what I do. Now you see what happens when you fuck up one of those things. You get 200 points instead of 400. It doesn't cause an alarm on its own, but it's loud. The guy makes noise, you saw the big... Another artifact. The big uh, noise radius pop out of him when I did it. And, um... What? And that's me being an idiot. I was quick enough that he didn't see me when I jumped there. But you can see that little yellow circle. That's where the guards saw the disturbance. I'm just hearing things. You can use that to your advantage. You know where they're going to check. So you can distract them on purpose. And then, uh... We killed as many as we could. But they overwhelmed us. And then, you know, kill them while they're looking away. Here's a great chance to get some object kills. Again, 600 points as opposed to the 400 for the uh, for the normal stealth kill. Now, that guard saw a corpse. Um, actually, I don't know why he got terrorized for this one necessarily. When they just see a normal corpse, they just investigate. I think it's because he saw him as he was dying. Don't worry about me. Go save Master as I. Rather than. Uh, later, like already dead. But anyways, you can you can terrorize guards in certain ways. Um, I'm trying to get the gong. It's pretty hard to move the stick in the right way. But then I'm like, ah, fuck it. He's just going to patrol back, so who cares? <laughs> I'll just kill him. Uh, this is the end. 
So that's all the ninjas, and I got all the gongs, as you saw. So that's all the achievements except for the one that's to basically beat it without getting undetected. Very often one of the, one of the special, not always, but one of the special achievements is do X, usually the final objective of the mission, without getting detected. Basically getting detected is terrible, and there's no decent run of this game is going to involve you getting detected ever. Uh, you can do it and recover. If you just want to beat the game, you can get detected a lot and still win. But it is almost always a bad idea if you're going for the the seals, the medals. You picked the wrong guys to rob, Sensei. It's time for the old man to retire, boys. So, here's an easy way to do this. Another object kill, another terrorizing guard. You get bonus points for terrorizing guards too. It's actually great. The terrorized guard does a few things. He'll shoot randomly, and he, he can kill other dudes, which gets you 600 points when he does it, which is great. He also won't call in alerts even if he sees you, because he's too terrified to think. So. Terrorizing guards is always a great strategy if you can do it. For centuries we have stayed hidden. We shunned the modern world and its jackals. But today, our enemies have found us. We must strike back. We will fight for our survival and our honor. I foresaw this day would come. And so... I called upon a champion to fight for us. He has accepted the first mark. He will defend the clan at a terrible cost. Alright, and here's the level ending screen. This first screen, not very important. It just shows you all the dudes you're killed, which is pretty cool. But anyways, this second screen is the money. That's where it shows you what actually has happened. So you can see there's undete undetected bonuses, so you don't just get 400 points uh, at the time, you get a bonus at the end. Distracted bonus, same thing, you get 150 points at the time, but you also get a bonus at the end. No alarms is a 3,000 point bonus. Now, this is important. When you get an alarm call, not only do you lose the 3,000 point bonus, but it also takes 800 points off your score for every alarm. So that first alarm costs you, in a sense, 3,800 points. So getting one alarm is going to make it very difficult for you to ever get the third level uh, point seal. So, at any rate, that's our first level. Nine out of nine seals done. I'm Cuba Libre, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Mark of the Ninja.